Today we'll be taking a look at the biology of the Minotaur, a strange half-man, half-bovine monstrosity that lived amongst the ancient Greeks during classical antiquity. This is a bit different to the kind of things I normally cover, not quite as outer spacey, but it's good to experiment with different things. The Minotaur is perhaps one of the better known beings of the classical era, and is instantly recognisable to most with its human body and bull head. But how would a creature like this actually work? How would it come into being? Would it have a bull's brain or a human brain? All questions I would like to try and answer in today's video. But first, just a quick reminder to please like the video and leave a comment, become a patron, buy some merch, all that jazz. It really helps the channel out and allows me to buy food, books and drambuie. Now, with all that said, let's get into it. So the Minotaur, which looks like a half-man, half-bull hybrid, is exactly that. Sometimes these things are a lot more complicated than they seem and have an in-depth backstory which explains their appearance, but in the case of the Minotaur, it's reasonably straightforward. It is simply the result of an unholy union between a bull and a human woman. Sorry you had to see that. The story goes that after ascending the throne of Crete, Minos competed fiercely with his brothers as ruler of the territory. In order to find out if he was favoured by the gods as ruler, Minos prayed to Poseidon, god of the sea, to send him a snow-white bull, a rather specific request, to show if this was the case. Turns out it was. The gods did indeed favour Minos as king, and a snow-white bull appeared before him not long after. Poseidon wanted Minos to sacrifice the white bull in his honour, but because Minos found the bull to be such a beautiful animal, he decided to keep it and sacrifice a regular bull instead. Poseidon felt cheated by this, however, and as an act of vengeance, he used his power to cause Minos's wife, Pasiphae, to fall in love with the white bull. Pasiphae then had the master craftsman, Diadolus, create a life-size, hollow, wooden cow, which she would climb inside of. I often wonder if Diadolus asked her why she wanted this, or if he decided that a don't ask, don't tell policy would be best. Once the wooden cow was made, and Pasiphae had climbed inside, the white bull would mate with it. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. From this disgusting act came a half-calf, half-human baby. Pasiphae tried to look after the hybrid child, but it quickly became unruly and ferocious. As the unnatural product of a human and beast, the Minotaur had no natural source of nourishment. Its bovine half was unable to eat the food of humans, and its human half couldn't digest grass. There was, however, one thing that the bull man could devour, and that thing was humans. Minos, unsure of what to do about this strange problem of his, consulted the oracle at Delphi, who advised him that a maze-like labyrinth must be constructed that could hold the beast within its walls. And so, Minos had Diadolus, who had before built the wooden cow for his wife, build the labyrinth. I can only imagine what poor old Diadolus thought of all this. And that's the story of how the Minotaur came to be. From this legend, we can see that the digestive system of the Minotaur is unlike ours or that of a bovine animal. It requires human flesh, and only human flesh, making it a purely carnivorous animal. Carnivores have a single chambered stomach, unlike cows and bulls who have seven stomachs. Because meat is relatively easy to digest, a carnivore's small intestines, where absorption of food molecules takes place, are short, about three to six times the body length. I often wonder how this being would fare at chewing meat. From the neck up, it's all bull, which would mean that its teeth would be like those of a herbivore. I'm not sure if chewing meat would prove difficult. Perhaps with a strong enough jaw, it could do so with ease. Encased within the Minotaur's head, like all mammals, is a brain. But is it a human brain, or a bovine brain? Given that this creature calls a maze-like labyrinth its home, and would therefore have the intelligence to navigate it, and to always know whereabouts within it is, and be able to stalk trespassers throughout this place, it would seem that its mind is more human than bull. 
It displays predatory behaviour, therefore it would seem to be more human than herbivore in that respect. However, it could be that its more animal-like attributes aid the Minotaur in its stalking of humans within the labyrinth. It undoubtedly has a powerful sense of smell. It's generally accepted that animals have a far superior sense of smell to humans. Much better hearing too. And they're much more in tune with their instincts. A human mind is often clouded with thoughts, feelings, preconceived notions, often second-guessing itself. But the Minotaur seems not to be burdened by such things. It is a predator, a hunter, with a bull's strength and temper. Seen here are illustrations of the Minotaur's skeletal structure. Physically, the Minotaur will outclass most men in combat. It has the uninhibited strength of a beast. Most who attempted to slay the beast were unsuccessful, but, like all living things, the Minotaur's end did eventually come after being slain by Theseus, the Athenian king.